Hey everybody, I'm back. It's been a little bit of a, a pause here for me. I'm doing some work here, being out here in Dinosaur National Monument, running the Green River. I've been physically and mentally tired, but I'm excited to get back into videos here. Um, in this video, I want to do some gear review. It's going to be over a simple piece of gear, something that you know most people might miss, but I think it's a pretty cool piece of gear. Uh, it's a piece of gear I've used a lot out here, um, <clears throat> primarily for food stuff, and that is the shoppers, or what we like to call shoppers anyway, and those are basically these bags right here. Uh, there's two different styles of bags here. I've got the Jack's plastic bag over here. You can see a nice plastic bag here. Uh, you know, it's nice and big enough. I've got my PFD shoved in there for now, and then I've got a bag from Good Vibes River Gear as well. So let's start off with the Jack's bag. As you can tell, it's a nice plastic piece here. It's plastic all the way around. Mine's got a nice big red bottom to it. A nice little hanging piece. So you can actually hang it upside down and dry it out if you get some water in there. That's another great thing about it. It can hold water. You can use it as a bucket. It's not a hard side bucket. It is nice and squishy and soft. Um, but hey, you can use it as a bucket if you need to to cool off your boats, um, if you need to soak meat in it. Um, I've soaked um, salmon in here before. I've soaked steaks in here before just to help them uh, thaw out a little bit faster. And this one also has a couple handles on it. So you got two handles on this one. Jax does make a bag that's just one single loop across the top here. A bit more square bottom, or sorry, not square bottom, circular bottom. As you can tell, this one's a bit more of an oval shape. I think they call it the square bottom bag. But they're cool because you can actually store gear in them. I got my PFD in here right now. Let's pull that out, throw it aside. And then these guys can actually collapse. So I can take this bag and basically crumple it down to a pretty small thing here. Uh, this is actually made out of what I think they use uh, the rafting material made out of too, <clears throat> as well as their pocket pads. So it's nice, pretty, dur pretty um, durable material. I've got some smudges on here. This has been out in the river a couple times. I've actually primarily used it for laundry and uh, dishes, you know, throw everything in there, travel it around. Uh, that's been off river. On river, they're great. You can go down to the coolers in your boats because you know, a lot of people don't want to be lifting those heavy coolers out of the boats, especially not with the 120, 125 quart coolers that Oars uses here. Um, they're heavy, they're pigs, no way they're coming out of the boat during the, during the trip there. So you take one of these guys down to the boat, shop all your stuff back into the bag, carry it up to, um, carry it up to the kitchen area there um, and use the bag and then bring it back down, reshop it if you need to. Um, but you know, the Jack's plastic bag, nice bag overall. It can be a little pricey. I ordered this one offline um, and the shipping was almost as expensive as the bag was. So that might be one downside to it. You can find some of these in stores, um, but you know, they are a little bit pricey. Uh, this one's a nice size as well. It's a little big, bigger anyway, but good bag overall. Now I want to move on to the good vibrations bag here. That's this guy here. Um, they do come in different colors. I want to say that the Jack's bag does come in a different color as well. I didn't actually custom order the colors. These are just the bags they gave me. Uh, but the Good Vibrations bag here, this one's actually made out of a mesh material. It's nice and mesh material here. They actually, um, the owner of this company does a double layer mesh. And um, so you've seen a lot of bags maybe from NRS, um, rig bags primarily. Uh, my rig bag, my personal rig bag from Wet Dreams is just a single layer mesh material. This one's actually a double layer mesh material. Lots more protection, lots more, a lot of stronger. Uh, and like the other bag, um, you can put stuff in there. So I got my camera tripod in there right now. I've got my camera box in there right now. And that just leaves this mesh bag afterwards. A little bit smaller, but still very packable. You can squish it right down there and it packs up nice and tight. Um, as for carrying stuff, this one's a little bit smaller. This one's actually rounder than my um, Jack's bag is. Round, round bottom there, this guy, they actually have webbing across the bottom to reinforce that but smaller in carrying capacity than my Jack's bag. Although they do add a pocket on the front here and they actually color it different colored as well. This one's got a blue pocket on the front here. So you can just put stuff in the pocket, a little bit smaller stuff, you know, whatever you need to do in there. I've carried pens in there, I've carried books in there. And then like the Jack's bag, it does have these two cool handles. I like this one because they actually um, kind of point to the things. You're not having to fish around for anything. You know, nice big, you know, black, black body bag blue pocket here, blue handles that are these really awesome colors. Again, I didn't custom order these. I'm sure if you talk to either of these folks, you can custom order colors, but I think it's really awesome bags. Um, this one being mesh, uh, can't carry water in there, unless they're in bottles, of course, but it's a, it's a nice bag overall. 
So that's kind of my review over the two shopping bags I have. At least I call them shoppers anyway. Uh, again, the kind of the pros and cons of both of them. The Jack's bag has that raft plastic material in there. You can, carry, you can use it as a water bucket. You can use it as a hand wash bucket. Um, you could, you know, throw stuff in there to help them thaw out a little bit easier. It's a little bit bigger. Um, at least the ones I've got for our for the Jack's plastic to the um, Good Vibes bag. Um, the cons about it is a little bit more expensive, um, at least from what I've seen anyway. And now the pros and cons of the Good Vibes bag. It's a little bit cheaper. It's made out of that double layer mesh material. It's got some good outside pockets. It's got some colorized stuff so you know exactly what you're grabbing. You don't have to fish around for it. Um, it's The mesh material doesn't hold water. It's a little easier to clean actually. Um, and it's also smaller. Uh, so that might be taken into consideration from what you guys want. Um, if you guys if any of you have any questions or comments about these shoppers, please leave them down there in, in the comment section. I love reading over them, even though I haven't been able to get to a lot of them. I've answered quite a few of them, as much as I can anyway. But leave your questions and comments down there. I also leave links to either of these bags down there in the description section. Go take a look at them. If you like them, you know, hey, they're down there. I don't get anything out of them. I just like, I just like putting stuff down there so you guys can find it a little easier. Anyway, everybody, I'm happy to be back, and I'll see you guys in the next video.